Well, it's uh, Saturday morning. It's beautiful. Hardly, I don't know what the temperature is. It's going to be in the mid 60s, I think. It's like 58 or 59 right now. You can see we got some breeze. Nothing expect, nothing spectacular. About 18, I think. I got my first drop off. This guy runs a sub shop. About every standby minute. About every uh, six months or so, he'll call me. I'm bringing my blade over. And get it sharpened. <laughs> it's a big blade. Meat slicer blade. He just needs a spare. He he won't he won't spend the money to buy a spare. I don't know why. I mean, he still got to get it sharpened and everything, you know. But he wouldn't be without one. It's uh, it's early in the morning. It's only uh, it's nine o'clock right now. I don't know how big this thing is. Probably 11, 11 inches, maybe. It's big, you see. Okay, I got to go to work. Crack it on. Well, I finished up that meat slicer blade and I put it in Chris's car. It turns out she's going to Portsmouth today, which is uh, where this guy's located. He's about I don't know, 30, 35 miles from me when he dropped it off this morning. Anyway, she's going over there to visit a buddy of hers. So I gave him the contact information. They're going to hook up. He'll get his meat slicer back. I think it was extremely dull today. It's not normally that dull when he brings it to me. But that just costs more. That's the only difference. I got a nice call where I'm going right now. My buddy at the fish house called me and says, Come by. I said, I got something you want. I'm not sure what he has in mind, but he just got something in he said I really like <laughs> for supper. I'll get back to you in a few minutes when I know more. Well, we're at the fish house. Let's see what's available there. I got my cooler. I have to get a little ice now. Think he's got any? <laughs> Two big ice machines. Take the picture, man. Not that one. I ain't good. Look how fresh they are. Yeah. yeah fucking fish brown, like that came up the yeah. Baltimore Channel, Yes, sir. I read. Awesome fish. Very good. Come on in here and get some meat and grippers. Whatever you don't get, I'm going to take the rest of it. A so Russo, a, a box of it. Eight dollars a pound. Eight dollars a pound. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I mean, a lot of catch two boxes, you know, so they got, yeah. got to make them count. Willie's really son caught these. This is the yellow edge. Uh -huh. They're supposed to be the top of the line. Yeah. Better than the snowy. So, you get one, I'll get one. Okay, okay I just want that. All I need is one. All right. You want some baby snowies? No, I'm okay. This will this will be it. We gotta put it in the scale so we can take off the weight. Weighs five pounds. It's all right, doesn't matter. I got them all, we'll take the rest of them. Did you want to clean them here or you're not taking no, them? No, I'll clean them at home. What do you call them now? Yellow edge? No, yellow edge. Yellow edge, huh? That's a yellow edge. Oh, yeah, I see it now. And this is, these are small snowies. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, these probably got it wrapped, you know what they yeah. look like. So. Knives for fish. I sharpen his knives, I get fish. <laughs> he got a flock of wood stars. These are his personal knives. I'll get to them later. These are these are lollygoes. Yeah. I got these from a company called Sea Fresh. They used to be Rhode my Island. they used to be my license plate, remember? Lollygoes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but did you catch lollygoes too? Yeah. Yeah. Here, let me show you here. Come in. These are Elax. You know what Elax look like? Yeah, they're just bigger and thicker, that's all. Well, that's a summer squid. I like them better myself, eat-wise. 
bring it outside. <laughs> you like these? Yeah, these are one pound boxes. These are darker square. I know it. They're redder, I call them. You like that? The, the last time I had a whole one, I was at, remember Abby? The guy used to come by, had the place on Newtown? Who catches a lot mm -hmm. of them? The summer squid. That's a winter squid. Mm -hmm. These are thicker meat, though. Meat's thicker. Like stays on the hook better, too. And they taste good, too. Yeah, damn yeah, right. Phone and make a call to someone you haven't talked to in a long time. There's that place I was talking about two weeks ago when I was over here. Remember what them three houses were? I tell you one thing. If I was a dirt digger, I'd be right in there right now. I got a good mind to come over here tomorrow. Neighborhood's a little shaky, but that's uh, got to be a prime spot right there. It's all cleaned off now. Nice place to park. Good gracious, look how big it is. I mean, I don't know how big it is. I don't have many. There was three houses there along this street right here. But they had big yards. I didn't realize the yards were so big because it was so growed up. I mean, you couldn't draw it on paper being any nicer. I don't know if, they, if they'd bother you or not, but they wouldn't do anything to you but tell you to leave, I guess. Look at it, look at it. Great balls of fire. Well, I'm sitting here at the butcher shop. Dropped his knives off. I'm waiting for one of my ladies. He's bringing me some knives. going to meet me here. I don't know what or how many or anything. I'm looking for a little Miata to pull up. Comes the Miata. Stand by. Trader Joe's. I need to get in here. I can't. Look at the line. It goes on forever. Good gracious me. Well, I'm headed home. I just got another call from a guy from Chesapeake. Said, uh, I'm going to drop some knives off at your house. I got some fish fillet knives and some pocket knives. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be, but we've been home in about 20 minutes. We can take a look at those and the ones I picked up at the butcher shop from that lady. With the Makita, Maida, whatever you call that thing. I can't explain. Yes, I know. 169 today at the Wawa. That's no bargain. All right, let's see what's in the box. Let's see the lids open. Good gracious. Good gracious. Looks like a nice gazilla to me with what I already got. Stand by, let's get them out of there. Are you ready for all these knives? Golly. These are the two I got from the butcher. I dropped off eight, picked up two. The lady I met had five, one nice wooshed off and four Chinese babies with some dishwasher stains here and there. The seafood guy had some Wustoffs, some Hinkles, and one nice saboteur. But in the box was Glory. Big G, little L, R, Y, Glory. Well, here we got a nice old Buck 110, two kiss, one Kiss and Crane, two old Case Knives, and the Columbia River, <coughs> some Fish Knives, Dexter's, Blade tech I've never seen before. Uh, that one says it's a uh, Russell. I know what that is. Makuta. This looks like he just got it. Ontario. No. I thought it was Ontario. It says early American. Oh, two old hickories. One Victinox. One Grey Band, which is the same thing as this piece of one over here. A gathering of knives. I'm glad it's a nice afternoon. And I need to go spinning, so I have something to keep me busy. Large B, little U. And last but not least, a cup of coffee from the Wawa. Gas 169, I told you, I think, I told you. And a ham and cheese sandwich. With mustard and pickles. I like it.
I get back to you. Well, we're finally done. I cut the grass in the front, grass in the back. Well, I just went to one of our favorite seafood spots and got a nice Greek salad and a half a pound of steamed shrimp with no spice and a pound of steamed shrimp with no spice. I'm gonna put the shrimp in the salad in coleslaw. There's no cocktail. No cocktail. How uh -oh. can you have shrimp without cocktail sauce? Mm. The pasta sauce was like a dollar off. Ready to go now. All I gotta do is sit out. Coleslaw, shrimp, Greek salad. I suspect in about one hour, we'll have one each of these. That's our normal Saturday night routine. Klondike bars. <laughs> what do you think, Jack? I want a Klondike bar. <laughs>